What's up, y'all? It's your boy K back with another Mick Banger boy. And I told y'all I was coming at y'all with the car reviews. Today, we got the new 2020 Charger RT right there, man. You see it. So you already know we about to bring this video to y'all. So let's go ahead and check out the specs. All right, so let's go ahead and get it to the specs. As you can see, this boy looking super clean. Yes, indeed. This is the brand new 2020. It got the good stance like it always has. What it's famous for, at least for the appearance anyways, is the, is the nice indentation right there along the driver door going into the rear, as you can see right here. Of course, this is the Hemi. This is the RT version coming around to the front. You got the super aggressive front end with the projector headlights. Down below, got the fog lights. And of course, if you come up to it, you got the snout, you feel me? Everybody want that. This whole car is sitting on 20 inch rims. You know what I'm saying? These are 20 inch rims, a 245s all the way around. They are not staggered. They all the same, they all the same size. They are not staggered. You got the Hemi. And you just got the clean body style that everybody wants from the Charger. All right, coming around to the back, as you can see, you got the dual exhaust. Of course, you got the, the side vents right there, which is super, super nice. You got the backup sensors right there, as you can see. But you already know what we're looking for when you're buying this car, man. You're looking for that RT sign, and you're looking for the nice tail light. And, of course, the spoiler. The spoiler looks real good. And it actually, if you can pay attention, it actually comes right over the end of the trunk. So that's pretty dope. So, of course, I got the rag right there because y'all don't need to see the plate. But you got the dual exhaust right there. I have to just go ahead and get you a nice exhaust note. Stupid loud, man. Stupid loud. That's that 5.7 liter Hemi you hear. All right, y'all, so now we in the interior and we doing the drive right now. So this my boy Jay, man. Good looking out for letting me do the car review on your brand new car, bro. He just got this boy, you feel me? So this most definitely love. So y'all want to know the driving impressions. It's a new 2020. It drives good. Uh, this is a sport version, so the suspension is a little bit more stiff, so you'll feel the bumps when you go over the bumps. You might even see them in a video, but that's okay because if you get a sport version, you want the power, that's just something you got to sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, you're sitting on 20 inch rims all the way around, and uh, the steering is very precise. It doesn't take much for the car to go in the direction you want it to go. This is based on the uh, electronic steering, so it does have electronic steering. Other than that, of course, the throttle response is good. This is a V8, 5.7 liter to be exact. You're getting the 370 horsepower out of this thing and 395 pound-feet of torque. So you got more than enough power to be moving and grooving around town. You got more than enough power to get out any sticky situation. Now, I'm really making this video because I want you guys to really see what the RT can do because a lot of people be thinking if they get a charger or something they got to go straight all the way to hellcat or scat pack or whatever or something like that but that's really not the case y'all really kind of sleeping on the rt so that's why i'm really making this video the rt can really hold its own you don't really have to jump all the way to the to the scat pack or whatever like that but to give you a little fun fact the daytona and the rt is pretty much type similar they right there neck to neck you feel me then it goes scat pack and hellcat but if you just looking to get your your foot in the door as far as what power and everything the rt is not a bad choice it's really not a bad choice and you save the money it's a lot cheaper than a hellcat of course and scat pack and everything at the end of the day you still able to do all the same things you're able to do in the scat pack or in the hellcat because you still got enough power to do so this is still rear wheel drive so all the power is coming out of the two wheels in the back it is still sit down squat and it'll go you know what i'm saying still do your burnouts still got the aggressive um body style you know what i'm saying because a lot of people they want to say well i don't want to get this one or that one because it don't have a body style with the rt you don't have to worry about it exact same aggressive body style as the daytona in the scat pack you know what i'm saying you still got the big snout in the front you still got the aggressive front end which is real big on the nose you know what i'm saying real big face and then on the side profile you still got the classic charger body style 
and then you already know what the rear look like. You can be looking at, you could be on a freeway, anybody gonna know you a charger just based off your tail lights, you know what I'm saying? So just let y'all know that. Now, coming with the interior, as you driving, the seats are real plush. This exact model has the cloth seats. So it got a lot of bolstering material on the sides. So if you, I say, what, like 185 or 175, you, you fit in here real snug. Now, I don't know if you over over 200, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But it, it's still good enough for you to, to where it's gonna keep you in the, it's gonna keep you in the seat while you're going around corners. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's mainly for. Now, also, you got the big old 8.7 inch touchscreen with the Uconnect. That's pretty much is gonna pair with your phone. You can do the Apple CarPlay or you can do the Android CarPlay, whatever that is. And then you're good to go. Everybody loves the instrument cluster. Uh, the RT, you get 160 on a dash. I think the zero to 60 is four or five seconds. We're gonna test that out soon. And then, of course, you know, you can go through all the gauges on the instrument on the instrument cluster. It could tell you, you know what I'm saying, the top speed you did before and everything like that. But my favorite part, and I'm pretty sure this is everybody's favorite part, is you can go to the performance page in the 8.7 inch touchscreen and you can play with all the features in there. You can check out the horsepower, you can check out the torque you're putting down, you can check out your G-Force, you can do all that stuff, bro, that's pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie, if you stab this boy, you hit her exhaust and it's fun, look. It's going exactly where you want it to go. It got power more than enough power this also has the super track mode just click that button right there and you can go to all the functions you can put it in sport mode you can take the traction off you want to do in that mode so at the end of the day when you're sitting in this cabin you got a nice clean pretty much layout you feel me the dash is great the uconnect system is great the 8.7 inch touchscreen is great is everything in here the power is direct when you press the pedal, you feel it go right down to the floor. This eight-speed eight, eight speed transmission works perfectly with the engine. You do have the pedal shifters as well, so you can smack this boy over to manual mode and play with the pedal shifters. Now, they're not huge, like how some of the bigger sports cars are, but at the end of the day, they're still there and they still function, and they are pretty much, they are pretty fast. If you know what you're doing with that, that's a bonus. So at the end of the day, what I'm gonna tell you is, you're not missing out when you buy RT. RT is a great version. If you're looking for something that's just the styling and you just want to cruise around town, you don't want to, you don't want a stiff suspension, then don't go with the sports version. You can most definitely get the V6. It'll get better fuel economy and you can still get the style and the name of a charger. Now, fun fact of the day is, if you want to know, oh, what, what does RT stand for? Well, RT stand for road and track. That's exactly what this car is made for, to be good on the road and to be good on the track. So it's more desperately useful. Now, with the if you worried about gas and the V8, don't worry about it because in this, you get 16 in the city and 25 on the highway. That's not bad for having a big Hemi V8 in front of you. Now, when you're driving, you are going to notice that you got a long hood in front of you, but that's normal because at the end of the day, this is a muscle car. That's going back to the roots of a muscle car. They always had the long hood. Why? Because they have to fit the big V8 motor in it. You know what I'm saying? You got to think this is the same platform as the Hellcats and everything like that. And the Hellcat has a bigger motor and plus with the supercharger. So they need all that room to fit the motors into it. But it's no problem looking straight down the line. You can still see the curves of the hood. And, it's a, and at the end of the day, it's a good sight to see.